Hi, um, welcome to this today's show. It's about me talking about zero point. And I'm going to keep it silly because I can get too scientific. So I want to introduce this nonchalant tone so everybody can just have fun and you can figure it out on your own. We're touching on the zero point, which is God. What happens? Something comes out of nothing. So out of this formless being, dimensions emanate in all directions and they make different densities, different layers of architecture. And when it comes to the point of like full rendered out reality, meh, a baby is born and all of a sudden this consciousness is immersed in these densities and we are learning how to walk, talk, touch stuff, converse. So we are growing up as humans and we are activating. We are act activating different layers of the architecture. When you go through the chakra system, you need to activate different layers of the architecture. And so from a toddler, just like making the first steps, and that baby being really dependent on the mom, we are going into the world and we're going to learn how to first use the physical reality, the physical density and move objects around and walk and talk and high five, okay? And then we're also going to activate the emoting centers, talking centers, thinking centers and centers of higher perception that will eventually expand, expand, expand our understanding until we go back all the way into the formless. And this is a complete maturation or complete integration of a human being. And it will happen for every being according to their specific blueprint. In general, what is happening, we are going to, we were the formless self, which we call God or Brahman or whatever you want to call it, which is not yet emanated stuff which is not yet love which is not yet a concept every concept is created in a correlation of two there's no architecture there's no meaning there's nothing in god itself there is just inherent potential unmanifested formless and what it about the you boy okay so to offload this download and Find that center, that zero point. Now, what is amazing is that the God has always been inside of a man, inside of a man, inside of the seed of the heart, inside of the seed of the cell, inside of the seed of an atom. So basically, if we were not focused on these different densities of the emanated archi architecture, we would have seen, we would have felt, we would have experienced that. But the consciousness needed to explore and evolve these forms, so we needed to get focus into the physical world. We needed to get focus, like in this epoch, into the mental world and develop the computer with all its word combinations and all the linear architectures, right? And then we are seeing, okay, these linear architectures, you know, plus and minus, masculine and feminine, the gender polarities, like everything's made out of that, but it's actually also made out of the observer of that. So I am the feminine and I am the masculine and I am the observer of that. So that's a trinity, the holy trinity, right? And the observer is the key point because when we reconcile with the observer when we learn how to walk talk emote think and think abstractly and touch that metaphysical and we understand all of these layers then we are like wait who am i right how did this all happen and every layer tells a story the physical reality uh, two little kittens always play fighting, you know, to be like, blah, 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 okay? So you have to get fit to expand the form. So there's a little bit of like, 
you know, <laughs> and there's a little bit of, you know, having your stance, learning your sovereignty, uh, being self-responsible, self-reliant, but then able to commune with others, come together in emotional and mental harmony. And it's all a practice, right? Because circumstances of realities always change and there's always maybe a tilt, there's always some surprise, the cycles of time, they never rest, they always bring some commotion, some surprise, so we can figure out that new surrounding and we can dance with it in a graceful, effortless, but also <coughs> powerful way. So it's all a dance. It's all a dance and we are mastering that dance. And so here on this planet, there are different levels, like we're in an elementary school and we have the third graders here and we have the five, fifth graders and we have the eighth graders and we have the professors and we're all one and the same just having different perspectives some perspective is more evolved not as a value of not as a linear value uh, that like if i'm an eighth grader i have more value you know there's the ego thinking like trying to put everything on a very linear scale. I have a child, he is no less deserving in any way than I am. He is just more pure consciousness that is only experiencing some levels of the game and as he grow, grows up he will be experiencing other levels of the game. So those who came before us, all, all ancestors and all the teachers, and all the wisdom keepers, it is all you and the future generations, it is all you having different perspectives. So we are always throwing the ball and we are leaving a signature, leaving an omen, leaving a book. I'm leaving this video to whoever is coming through this path, following the similar resonance, similar footsteps that I have made. So I'm sharing and then I'm also learning from my future self, right? I'm sharing with myself in the past, I'm learning from myself in the future. That's always the case. So when we activate that formless self, we reconcile with that zero point. This is what happens. That awareness is beyond space-time, is beyond densities, it's subspatial. So from there, we are omniscient and omnipotent and this is another level of maturation of your complete human potential. This alone means that clairvoyance, for example, because you're observing from outside space of time, you can now zoom into any perspective. You can zoom into perspective of your ancestor, of your future self, you can zoom into perspective of any freaking like plant, animal, uh, or any, um, any form, any architecture, because it's all one consciousness that em emanated all these architectures. They are the architectures, the densities, the experience of life is relative because this is just an animation, right? That has these many layers that put it together. The one, the seer, the one who sees is the omniscient eye, the all-seeing eye. And that eye is the eye within every eye. That eye is the eye within the every eye. I am. That is only one. Okay, so when that one connects with itself, reconciles with itself, then it's really having a larger perspective. It's really seeing wherever it wants to look. And also, there is another thing. There is the emanation that, at the, like, okay, I'll tell it in like a story, in a linear. <laughs> okay, offload. Hi. I want to 
tell a linear story about when it first began. There is no first, there is no later. That's within the simulation. We are taking different perspectives and then sequences of objects make the animation which we call life. So we think time, okay, it's linear. It's not linear. Right now, the universe is exploding in the creation. So when it first began, right now, the universe is exploding into creation. So when it first began, back in the day when the universe exploded in the creation, right now, universe is exploding into creation from the sub zero point self, formless, subdimensional self. Right now, universe is expanding into creation. And right now, everything is already created and we are here, the camera and the talking head is here somewhere in this infinite, you know, cycles of different carousel phenomena spinning around and around and evolving itself. Now, what happens to a human being when I can touch the beginning, when that I, that individual's I is connected to the supreme I and it's aware of itself and can see that this emanation is bursting forward and then it's already crystallized. Well, that can also make you all seeing, right? You're an all seeing eye within the individual embodiment. Also, you're manifesting and you are actually putting something inside of this existing spinning cycles, sequences of phenomena reoccurring. That's a spiral of time. You know, it's a carousel of events that you're it's just like looping. And then we're adding to it. So now we can invoke something from that zero point. We can put it here and then the cycle, it comes rendered out as a crystallized thing. Like, oh, and then we say, I manifested this, right? It's a computer. And yeah, okay. Somebody, somebody else made it, etc., etc. But like, yeah, it was, like, it was manifested. But here's the thing. Everything that has been manifested in nature, being like a rock, a cloud, a mist, a um, plant, well... The I within the individual can make that appear in the timeline right here, right now, out of nothingness, out of the formless. And you would call that instant manifestation, perhaps. And I know that there are some uh, shamans around here uh, in Indonesia and that there are some yogis where they can like pop up uh, like Sai Baba, you know, like pop up a little ring and then like gift you that or something. It's a token uh, of, it's a little joke to a previous version of yourself to your uh, like, okay, like look, this is possible. Pium, something appears, but this is not even like a superpower because it is inherent, check this out, and I'm not making this up or like I read it in a yoga book because like I've been there. So I'm talking from the individuality experience when I became the archetypal self and the masculine and feminine together with my uh, feminine embodiment partner at the time. And we were in the, in the extension in, in, in a higher body form. Okay. So the archetypal body form, and then we created a whole new universe. So it is in the potential of this crystallized spaceship that we call the human experience. It is in potential of this vessel to actually not just manifest like trickeries, but you can create up to a universe and even more. So if you're touching, if you're reconciling with the self beyond beyond, check it out how you want to explore this game, what you want to bring into this game is truly not limited. Om. Um.